I'm happy to announce that uh, our conference is just beginning to beginning uh, today. Uh, the conference title is The Protection of Religious Freedom in Central and Eastern European Countries. And uh, we are very happy to uh, welcome you here, all of you who are coming uh, from the neighboring countries. Uh, this is a very rich uh, region in Central Europe. Uh, so we can share our uh, ideas about the protection of uh, religious freedom. And uh, let me introduce myself first. I'm Balázs Gerencsér. Um, I'm an associate professor of the Pazan Peter Catholic University. And um, I will be uh, the chair of this conference. And I'm announced that Professor um, Ede Szilágyi, the head of Madhul Ferenc Institute of Comparative Law, will have his uh, introductory uh, opening speech. So please, um, the floor is yours. There, Mr. President, thank you so much for this opportunity. I hope that as a presenter, uh, I may take off the mask. I would like to yeah, enjoy this uh, situation. Uh, the organizer of this uh, event uh, they are uh, the Pazmain Peter Catholic University, uh, the Ferenc Madel Institute of Comparative Law. Uh, the Ministry of Justice uh, provided uh, this nice uh, venue for us. On behalf of the organizers, I would like to express my gratitude for their contributions uh, to the research group, the present research group, uh, and of course uh, its members. Uh, of the uh, uh, Central European uh, Professors Network. Uh, I would like to express my gratitude uh, to Professor uh, <clears throat> Balázs Sanda and of course Piotr Stanis uh, that uh, they provide us a great support with their presentation. Of course, also to our uh, moderator, the uh, president of this, uh, of this uh, uh, panel. Uh, and I would like to express my gratitude to uh, my colleagues uh, from Ferenc Madel Institute. Uh, they made uh, numerous things, numerous efforts uh, to uh, provide us uh, a proper form uh, to pursue uh, this uh, research. Thank you so much, uh, all of you. Now, in my, op my opening speech, uh, in reality, this is a presentation of outcomes and results of the Central European Professors Network. Uh, therefore, I would like to grab this opportunity to, to provide this. That's okay. uh, <laughs> the, to, to provide, uh, so, sorry, to, to grab uh, this uh, opportunity. Uh, you know, it's first noticing that uh, Ferenc Madel Institute of Comparative Law, uh, this is a governmental uh, organization and it has numerous tasks. Uh, one of them connected to the uh, lawmaking, law adoption uh, procedure activity of the uh, government. Uh, and numerous uh, uh, colleagues uh, of this institute, uh, they are working on this, on this uh, or connected to this uh, activity. Uh, last year, uh, in 2020, uh, we received uh, a, a possibility, an opportunity from the uh, Hungarian government to launch an initiative connected to the Central European Professors Network. Uh, and. Uh, we could uh, set up uh, the Central European Professors Network uh, at the beginning of this year uh, in January. Uh, it's worth noticing that uh, we we had to uh, we had to get some partners uh, for this great job, and we were successful. Uh, one of the essential partners. Uh, of this project is the Institute of Justice uh, from uh, Varsho. Uh, I think uh, I'm absolutely certain uh, that without uh, their contributions, we could not uh, we could not uh, uh, reach our goals uh, connected uh, to this project. Within the framework of this uh, Central European Professors Network. 
the Hungarian side, the Ferenc Mader Institute, uh, set up four research groups uh, connected to different topics. One of them connected to their freedom of expression, uh, one of them to freedom uh, to religious, uh, also in connection with protection of families, uh, and uh, a project about the reasoning and interpretation of human rights. On the other side, our uh, Polish partner, the uh, Institute uh, of Justice uh, in Warsaw, um, established other uh, four research groups. Um, this, uh, these research groups established in Poland, they were, uh, they were components of the so-called Polish-Hungarian research platforms. Now, in my presentation, I would like to concentrate merely on the Hungarian initiative, the achievements uh, of, of, this, uh, 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 of this project. Uh, therefore, we have uh, four research groups, and uh, one of the main tasks of this, uh, of this uh, research groups was to publish a book, a uh, book pro research group. As you can enjoy uh, one of them, uh, this is uh, the uh, outcome of the research group uh, about the religious symbols in the public sphere. Of course, the other uh, three research groups, uh, they could uh, they could uh, publish their own uh, uh, books uh, connected uh, to this uh, project. Uh, and now I would like to a little bit concentrate on the um, uh, uh, conclusions uh, of these uh, uh, research groups. Uh, of course, I do not, I do not want to replace uh, Professor Stanis in connection with this uh, uh, book uh, review. Uh, this is, you know, uh, my opinion, uh, my personal opinion uh, about uh, the conclusions of this book. The one of them, edited by uh, our uh, Polish friend, Professor uh, Marcin Wielec. Uh, this is about the challenges of the new uh, era, the digital era, the social media, and its connection to the uh, uh, freedom of expression. It's first noticing that, in my opinion, uh, you know, uh, this book uh, presented numerous challenges connected to this era. Uh, they raised numerous questions deriving from these uh, uh, challenges. Uh, and of course, they tried to provide some answers uh, to these uh, challenges and questions. Uh, the next book is the present book. Um, for me, it was an interesting uh, uh, outcome. Uh, it provided an important information, that is uh, the usage of religious symbols in the public sphere is part of the tradition of, this, of these countries. Uh, therefore, there are relatively few uh, you know, regulations and uh, case law connected to the regular uh, courts uh, concerning uh, uh, these uh, religious uh, uh, symbols and their use. Of course, there are, uh, there are uh, uh, some cases or cases or relevant cases uh, in the practice of the constitutional courts, but we can emphasize that in reality, the usage of these uh, uh, religious symbols in the public sphere is absolutely part of the tradition uh, of, this uh, of these countries. There are some exceptions in connection with Slovenia. Uh, I previously mentioned that it's part of the tradition of these uh, uh, countries, therefore I have to emphasize that uh, maybe in connection with religious symbols we could find some, uh, some common uh, components uh, uh, as to the Central European countries' tradition, common uh, tradition. That was the situation with uh, the uh, book about the family uh, protections. There are numerous uh, elements or, of their legislation and practice uh, which, is, uh, which we can consider 
uh, as common values of these uh, countries, especially as to the components of marriage, you know, the partners of, of a marriage, and also in connection with the adoption rules of these countries. Therefore, in my opinion, it's a quite important outcomes of this project, but that in connection uh, with uh, uh, with uh, free, uh, sorry, with the protection of family and religious symbols, there are real common values in uh, in these countries. Uh, the fourth uh, research uh, group uh, dealt uh, with the reasoning and interpretation of human rights, especially they focus on the practice uh, of the uh, constitutional uh, courts. Uh, of their countries, uh, they uh, primarily uh, uh, analyzed uh, the relationship uh, between the National Constitutional Court and the European Court of Human Rights and the Court of Justice of the European Union. However, they also analyzed other methods uh, of uh, interpretation. There are numerous uh, um, uh, precious uh, uh, elements uh, of, of uh, their uh, outcomes. For me, it was an in interesting aspect, uh, the potential uh, that the constitutional court of these regions, uh, they may uh, taking into account the, the practice of other uh, constitutional courts of this region. You know, it's relatively, um, uh, it's, it's, uh, they, relatively uh, they frequently uh, refer uh, to the jurisprudence of other constitutional courts outside of this region. Uh, but uh, fortunately, we can find some, uh, some uh, uh, cases in which for example, the uh, Slovakian Constitutional Court referred to the Czech Republic Constitutional Court. And in my opinion, uh, this is an interesting uh, initiative uh, of this uh, national court. Maybe uh, other constitutional courts, they can also be open uh, for, this, uh, uh, for this approach. I previously mentioned that one of the main tasks of this uh, um, Central European Professors Network and its uh, uh, research groups was to publish books. Uh, another important uh, task connected to, to the so-called dissemination events. Dissemination events uh, included and includes uh, numerous types of forms of, of these events. We could find also conferences, workshops, uh, roundtable discussions, other uh, publications, uh, interviews, and so on, and so on. And here you can see uh, the status of this uh, uh, dissemination events on uh, 18th uh, November. Therefore, this is not the end results of, of these types of, uh, uh, of the research uh, groups, but this is only uh, the status approximately in the middle of, of November. Another important uh, um, sub-project connected to the Central European Professors Network, it is the so-called Central European Junior Program. This junior program uh, has two pillars. Uh, one of them, uh, a PhD uh, program uh, with PhD students. The second pillar, this is an internship program. Uh, we could involve a doctoral school uh, as to uh, the PhD program uh, and, as, uh, and uh, as far as uh, the internship uh, program is concerned, uh, the Ferenc Madel Institute uh, uh, gave home uh, for these interns. These interns, these PhD students, um, here in after we can refer to them as juniors, they are uh, they are young researchers from this region, from Hungary, uh, from Slovakia, from Poland, from Serbia. Uh, now they are, however, they are here in the audience uh, of this uh, conference as well. As to the, uh, you know, for us, it was quite important uh, that besides uh, senior uh, senior researchers uh, to provide an opportunity for young researchers uh, to uh, 
uh, improve uh, you know this um, uh, cooperation uh, among uh, the uh, scientific communities of these countries uh, it was an important uh, part of this cooperation to provide uh, proper uh, uh, proper books uh, for these uh, uh, students uh, therefore uh, uh, Ferenc Madel Institute, uh, in cooperation with other organizations and partners, launched a uh, book series uh, for this reason. This book series uh, uh, inc includes uh, 10 books connected uh, to, for example, legal history, also to the uh, constitution, uh, constitutional law, uh, also to criminal law, civil law, and so on and so on. And uh, we have a very uh, ambitious uh, uh, goal in connection with this, because in this year and next year, we would like to publish 10 books in English. Uh, at this part, of course, I have to emphasize that, uh, um, that English language is the uh, uh, common language of this region. However, everybody knows that uh, this uh, language uh, it's an appropriate uh, language uh, for this reason due to uh, the differences of uh, legal orders uh, the the british uh, and uh, the uh, the legal orders of of of, of these nations um, the language of this uh, uh, project of this research group was also english the books they are they were published in english and of course uh, the the books of of these junior programs uh, junior program they are also in english previously i mentioned task book publishing uh, dissemination events uh, junior program and now another uh, task of the uh, research groups uh, connected to uh, to articles, scientific articles. Uh, this amount of articles uh, written by the members of this research group uh, provided a, an opportunity for us, an opportunity and maybe a kind of uh, uh, requirement uh, uh, to to start to uh, set up uh, a new uh, uh, journal. Uh, and uh, uh, we made this job and now I would like to uh, present uh, this new journal for you. This is uh, the Journal of uh, Law Identity uh, and Values. Uh, typically we refer to the abbreviation of this journal. This is LIV. Uh, I think um, uh, the title of this uh, journal uh, is obvious. Uh, through this journal uh, we would like to present uh, the common points uh, of of uh, of the uh, legal order and practice of of these uh, nations of the jurisprudence of these uh, scientific uh, communities i previously mentioned book i previously mentioned journal and numerous uh, book series uh, these uh, initiatives uh, they demanded uh, a, a common uh, framework, a common institutional framework. Um, for this reason, uh, we uh, established uh, a new publishing house via which uh, we would like to represent the outcomes uh, of this uh, project. Uh, the name of this uh, uh, publishing house is Central European Academic Publishing. Um, you know, these projects, they connected to the Ferenc Madel uh, Institute, but uh, we felt that we should provide another institutional form for this uh, uh, cooperation. We were very lucky because uh, three uh, national, uh, national uh, um, uh, associations uh, talked uh, similarly about uh, this uh, issue and uh, therefore they established uh, an international uh, organization. Uh, this is the Central European uh, Association uh, for uh, Comparative Law, uh, where, via which we would like to provide uh, a new cooperation form uh, for these uh, uh, professors. Uh, I think um, 
it's quite uh, important uh, to find proper topics uh, uh, for these uh, associations and uh, uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, starting topic of these uh, associations uh, association uh, will focus uh, on uh, the assessment of scientific activity you know we are in contact with uh, numerous uh, professors from this region and it, it was obvious uh, for us and for this uh, association then how to assess uh, the scientific uh, um, activity it's an absolute absolute topical issue in all countries, also in Poland, also in Slovakia, in Czech Republic, uh, also in Serbia, uh, also in Hungary. Uh, therefore, we hope that uh, at the beginning of the next year, uh, this association uh, might organize a conference, a kickoff uh, conference connected to this uh, topic. At the end of uh, my presentation, I would like to uh, present the future of this uh, Central European Professors Network. and. Uh, in connection with this, I have to emphasize uh, that uh, um, we can continue uh, the professor's network. It's worth noticing that uh, previously there, there was uh, merely a governmental decision about this issue. Uh, but in this uh, year, uh, uh, the Hungarian parliament uh, uh, made a decision uh, to support uh, this uh, project uh, for the next five uh, years. Uh, therefore, I'm absolutely uh, glad uh, that uh, uh, we can continue uh, this project also in the next year. However, it's worth noticing uh, that the institutional framework of this uh, uh, new uh, professor's network uh, will be different from the uh, Ferenc Madel Institute. Uh, of comparative law. Of course, Ferenc Madel Institute of Comparative Law uh, will continue its activity. Uh, and uh, now, uh, the establishment of a new uh, uh, organization uh, is underway. Uh, maybe in some days uh, I can uh, announce uh, the name of this uh, uh, new organization, but at this moment not. However, I would like to uh, I would like to uh, notice that the Central European Academic Publishing will be part of this new organization. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you uh, uh, for your uh, attention and uh, thank you for your uh, contribution to this event and for the uh, success of the project.